taking to the steps of the Department of Housing and Urban Development, a group of community members, including ABLA residents and housing advocates, gathering Wednesday morning. They want a plan to build a new training facility for the Chicago Fire Football Club, stopped. We are here today because there is a plan to displace 17,000 people permanently and put in place a soccer field. The city council reversed an earlier vote in late September, approving the proposal to build the training facility on vacant Chicago Housing Authority land on the near west side. The proposal explores using more than two dozen acres of land for the multi-million dollar facility that would act as headquarters and a training center for the soccer team. HUD is allowing a multi-billionaire to displace these people permanently at ABLA. While the city says the facility would provide community benefits and public investments into neighboring public housing sites, advocates say what should be being built is the promised mixed income housing. What are we saying to our next generation? What are we saying to these people here today? Do they not matter because they can't pay $3,000 a month in rent? The group arguing CHA has not met its vow to return the replacement housing it promised and that only 245 of the 775 public housing units have been returned. So Chicago, you are on the map worldwide as you commit the crime of ethnic cleansing. ABLA resident Laura Donaldson sharing the challenges she's faced in her own search for housing. She says she became an ABLA resident on her fourth try in 2016, but before that, she was homeless. We want to be part of the community. Amen. We should not be isolated because you don't know what to do with the housing that is there for us. If you don't know what to do with the housing for us, ask us. As the fifth floor prepares for a new leader, concerned residents and advocates want HUD to meet with mayoral candidates and put a stop to the project once and for all. And their position was that they were not going to allow commercial interests take any more CHA or public land for housing, that they were for putting more housing up. We beg and pray that the new administration come in and stand for the people.